Hi everyone, I'm Jamie and this is Dead by Daylight and today I'm playing every survivor's favourite killer to go against, the Spirit. And we haven't had any Spirit gameplay on this channel for a while. It's It's been a good while. I think since I first like ever played Spirit for the first time and I put that video on the channel. But now I'm just decided it was time to bring the Spirit back. So, just loaded into Dead Dog Saloon, you saw me immediately break Shaq Pallet's wall, because I don't want to deal with that, I just don't want to deal with it. Ideally, I'd go around and break a lot more walls, particularly in the main building, but yeah, I, I'm 4.4 I'm killer, I don't really have the, you know, abundance of time to do that. Get a free hit on that Meg, because she just <laughs> refuses to get off the gen. Yeah, I'm facing an entire team of Megs. Just Megs everywhere. The, the little things are everywhere. They love this gen. They're, they're already back on it. They love it. I think this is where I have a bit of problem. I shouldn't have problem, but I fall for the dead hard. And that gives them way too much distance on my 4.4 ass. I should not have fallen for such an obvious dead hard. She literally turned around in the middle of nowhere. Not quite sure why I used my power here. I just, I just wanted to give them a bit, a bit of a spook. I just stand there <laughs> and just watch them unhook. Well, from their point of view. But actually, no. You see me just wait out then. Just like, are you going to use Dead Hard on me again? But no, that time it was borrowed time. You know, survivors have many, many second chance perks. <laughs> it's like, are you going to use Dead Hard on me? Oh, no, it's borrowed time. Oh, wait, now you, do, you have, do you have DS? Uh, are you, if I knock you down, are you going to have Unbreakable? If it's not unbreakable, is it Soul Guard? Is it unbreakable and Soul Guard? <laughs> There's just so much. I heard that Meg drop, but she dropped a lot sooner than I was expecting her to. I'm not quite sure why I thought there was a pallet there. I think I just saw a gap in between two structures and was like, that's where pallets are sometimes. So <laughs> I think she was waiting there because she thought I may have just used my power or faked it or something. I was like, it's a really small loop. Like, even my slow ass can can book it round this tiny loop quicker than you can. So get this Meg on the hook. I say this Meg, like, she's the only one. Now, oh yeah, this Meg is in, yeah, I'll get this Meg. They're already doing that gen. They love doing gens in my face. I don't know why they they feel so confident. It's not as if they're going against, like, a trapper or something. They're against the second best killer in the game. Like, a, a, and unlike the best killer in the game, Nurse, if you're playing against Spirit, it like, they're the second best killer in the, in the game, and basically anybody can pick up and play them. Especially if you've got a headset. <laughs> if, if you've got a headset, and set up the way you like it, like, I have spatial sound on, because it helps me figure out where survivors are. Like, it's really not that hard to play Spirit. And she's so strong. I mostly just, like, I, I, I don't have, I don't run game slowdown, really. I guess Sloppy Butcher is kind of a game slowdown. But that, that that's the, basically the only game slowdown I run. I run three tracking perks. Because all you have to do with Spirit is to roughly know where survivors are in the map. I just kind of swung to... In the hope there that it would get me out of the pallets. Because I was a bit worried I was going to get pallet saved. Use my power. I'm not also not using any add-ons. Because I don't really think spirit needs them all that much. It is sometimes useful to get like, I don't know, a quicker recovery on her power. Like a slower cooldown for it. But I don't think she really needs it. At some point I do want to do a video of her speediest add-ons. Because I think her speedy add-ons are really fun. <laughs> you just fly. Like, get her speediest add-ons and then stick Shadowborn on as well. Love it. And, um, yeah, I just knocked somebody down there. I wasn't sure of what happened because, like, all the megs were in one place. Here, I, I try and... Yeah, it didn't work. What I, I, I knew what I was trying to do, but it didn't work. And then again, I get stuck on the same hitbox. I see them with Nurses Calling just healing in my face. They're really confident, considering I already have, what, five hooks, and they've only got two gens? They're very confident. <laughs> it made me think that maybe they knew something that I didn't. They did. <laughs> they did. They knew something I didn't. 
They knew that Meg had a decisive strike. It just made me very suspicious. <laughs> Okay, this person's here. I think there's another person to my right. Don't We don't even talk about that. We don't even talk about that. I just completely lose where I'm going and end up in a wall. <laughs> we don't talk about that. That whole, like, couple of seconds there, we never mention it again. It didn't happen. I'm like a chase. I've already got full. I've already almost got full chase. <laughs> like, full chaser emblem. Just chase out this Meg, get real close, see if she's got dead hard. No dead hard, just an attempt at 360 that didn't work. So here you go, Meg. Here's your new home. Hope you like it. It's all kitted up with the latest amenities. There you go. You'll love it. You'll have a great time there. See, I'm not breaking that pallet that I just that I just phased past there because I'm convinced that I should be able to get round that. I don't think I need to waste time breaking that. There we go. That's my that's my headset coming into effect there. <laughs> Just heard that Meg behind there. It's, I didn't understand until I started playing Spirit semi-regularly. Like, why people always said that um, Iron Will is such a counter to Spirit. Until I actually started playing Spirit. And I was like, oh my god. Like, audio is so important. <laughs> I audio is like kind of not I wouldn't say half of her power but it's a big chunk of it if you can't hear survivors then spirit has a bad time which is why that uh, like which is why that new proposed lucky break perk god damn it that's that's terrifying because like the if, if you haven't seen the developer update or the PTB that's out right now. The new lucky break. I like basically what it used to do is when you hit someone, uh, they didn't have blood or something for I think it was 120 seconds. But the way they're reworking it is that the survivors won't have blood or scratch marks for 90 seconds. And that is mental. Like the survivor that you hit she was so obviously going to use dead hard on me. Like, won't have blood. They won't have scratch marks. Pair that with Iron Will and they don't have sound. And then for, like, 90 seconds, that survivor is gone. They're basically a ghost. I love doing this. I love just moonwalking to the basement hook. <laughs> it gives me joy. <laughs> it makes me happy. But, yeah, if that, if that lucky break goes live... Jesus Christ. That's ridiculous. That is insane. I've got a pretty good gen set up here, I think. I've got a rough three gen. I don't know why I'm coming over here. Like, I'm kicking that gen, but it's kind of a waste of time because I've just seen whispers go off. Like, there are no survivors over here. They're up there. And that gen is much closer. I shouldn't have left that gen until the end. I should have really let them get it a bit earlier. But I figured I'd be okay because I can phase up here. But I didn't really think it through. I do quite like... Uh, this little play here. Not this one. This is stupid. This is me losing a survivor. But, okay, yeah, it's not this one. There's one later on <laughs> where I use my phase pretty pretty damn well, I think. I basically just, like, turn this whole structure into a big pallet loop using my power, and it's really fun. That will happen soon. Right now, I'm just kind of using the, the, the high up the, what do you call it? The high ground. That's what I'm using. <laughs> Just completely blanked. You can't defeat me, Meg. I have the high ground. Don't try it. <laughs> oh, I love it. I make it seem like I'm going to follow her all the way around, but I just wait at the top of the stairs and then face backwards and meet her on the other side. It's really fun. I, I It's not any kind of like advanced mind game or anything. I just liked how it played out. <laughs> I, like, I like those moments where it works exactly as you want it to. It's like, if I phase this way, you're going to come up the other way and then I'll get you. They're doing that gen again because, you know, they're always doing this generator. They fucking love it. And to be fair, it's the best gen out of the three to, to do. So, they did, they, they did well by picking that one. 
I get her. She was trying to take a hit for the injured girl. But she didn't get there in time. So all it's given me is now I know where she is as well. So come here, Meg. Let's play this pallet again. I've left this pallet up because I know it's possible for me to get a hit around it. I know it's possible. I'm just bad at it. There we go. <laughs> and break that pallet. And then, of course, another second chance. <laughs> to be fair, the survivors have only used, like, two or three second chances this time. So it's not that bad. And I am a spirit. I can't really complain. <laughs> I'm, like, the second strongest killer in the game. And I have a lot of nonsense on my side, so... <laughs> I think it's fair. But anyway, chasing this Meg down. Just praying to Cthulhu that the other one doesn't have Unbreakable as well. Like, for God, please no. <laughs> just praying. I don't know why I swung at that at that opening, by the way, before. I, I think I, I thought it was a window, but it wasn't. I'm fine, I've got Bloodlust. <laughs> they tried to slow vault over the pallet, but yeah, it wasn't enough. It was it was it was nice that she tried something rather than just fast vaulting over and over again and dying. But you know, it wasn't enough. Use barbecue to just find this last person and you know do a bit of clean up. I hope it isn't distracting that I've been playing with my engagement ring the whole time. I just... <laughs> I, I just can't help but play with it. I'm too fidgety. Alright, I know this Meg is over here somewhere. I just got to figure out where. Because she's doing this annoying thing where the last survivor hides. Like, she's not even trying to go for Hatch or anything like that. She's just hiding in this corner. Like, I'm, I'm never sure why survivors do that. Because... Surely, like, you just, you, you, you don't want to spend time slugged. Like, if the hatch is nearby, or you know it's nearby, or you think it might be nearby, qu crawl to it, try and get to it. Especially when, like, i just gone after that other person while they were slugged. But going to the corner and just hiding is just wasting the killer's time. But it's not even just wasting the killer's time, it's wasting your time. Because you've got to stay slugged rather than just getting on to the next game. Like, whenever I'm the last person and I'm slugged and I'm playing Survivor, I crawl towards the killer so I can get hooked as soon as possible. I love that every time I do one of these videos where I'm, <laughs> where I'm playing a killer that isn't Legion, like 90% of the time, I have a daily. <laughs> and that's why I chose that specific killer. They're all console. Right now I'm just going through all the meta perks they've got because... That's just... I, I, I just like to check <laughs> what what people had. How many of like the big four they had. But yeah, that was me playing Spirit against an army of Megs. <laughs> just Megs everywhere. I really appreciate you for watching the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you have a wonderful day. And I hope to see you in the next video. Stay strange.